Locally led development means that local organizations, local networks, local systems really should have the right to advocate for and implement their own development agenda. Not just the right to advocate and implement their agenda, but the skills and the resources and the knowledge and the connections to do so in ways that really benefit their people, the communities and their countries. At the end of the day, it is about recognizing that local systems, be it a health system or a market system or a civil society network, that they are in the position to decide where and how decisions get made, rather than us, as an international NGO, coming in to tell them what we think they should do. Our role at the end of the day is to be a catalyst and a supporter and to put them in the driver's seat. As part of that, Capacity strengthening is really key to helping those local systems and networks gain the skills, the knowledge, the reputation, and the networks they need to be successful. If we can help build up that local capacity, then they can come in and take over the roles that traditionally international NGOs have wrongly played and allow them to own their own development work. So for me, capacity strengthening really is about creating the conditions through which local organizations can stand up and take control of what they want to do. What this means for the family of organizations within Chorus International is that we have to acknowledge that today's ecosystem that drives foreign aid and development is inherently unbalanced and biased against local organizations and structures and that we have frankly been a part of that system and we need to acknowledge that. I also think it needs that we need to be always striving to put our local partners up front to make sure that we are listening to them first and foremost, and we're putting their ideas and their concerns in their agenda as our agenda, as opposed to imposing our own. I also think it means that we have to understand how to be better listeners. We have to remember that the best ideas most often come from those who understand the local context, the culture, the customs, the needs better than we do. Finally, I think it's really about all of us practicing our values respect for others, really letting local voices decide and own and speak for themselves, working with some humility and approaching our partnerships and relationships as equals regardless of where the funding is coming from.